much, yeah? It is I, the Mayor Flatwoods, or how you know me on Twitter, 76 Flatwoods Mayor. And I am here to bring you today's special program in Flatwoods. The Fallout 76 Inside the Vault Edition. We are going to talk about Season 7 Scoreboard, the rewards, and the Community Calendar, and so much more. Please enjoy, and I hope you enjoy this special program, brought to you by Vault 76 Edition of Inside the Vault. We're diving into Fallout 76 Season 7, which is currently slated to begin with the launch of Night of the Moth Update. You ask me, those Mothman cultists give me the willies. Bunch of spooky folks, I tell you. The Night of the Moth update begins on December the 8th, along with the scoreboard. We'll share a look at the Sorbo's Revenge scoreboard, some of the new rank up rewards that will be up for grabs. Ooh, new goodies and prizes and whatever else you uh, young folk like these days. Oh, where was I? Sorbos. Oh, yes, yes. <clears throat> and a new round of radio plays featuring Dr. Sorbo himself. Ooh. The community calendar that includes dates for upcoming weekend activities, seasonal events, and more through March 2022. Read on the catch the details. Oh, apologies. This here is read on here to catch the details. Moving on to the next page. Entering our second segment, introducing Season 7, Sorbo's Revenge. Do you remember Season 1, Captain Cosmos vs. well, Dr. Sorbo's? You do? Excellent. Then you'll remember this. <clears throat> In Season 1, the daring Captain Cosmos and devious Dr. Zarbo were locked in a race among the stars during the legendary run. A contest that Dr. Zarbo ultimately lost. Humiliated among his peers, the doctor has since been masterminding a strategy to reclaim his legacy as Emperor of the Universe. Universe, universe. And this show his arch nemesis for good. This season, he will be joining forces with Zorbo to assemble a crew of insidious intergalactic beings carefully selected for the special skills they possess. As you rank up on all... Oh, typo. <clears throat> As you rank up on the all-new Zorbo's Revenge scoreboard, you'll travel to distant planets to recruit notorious fiends. Like General Confusion. Actually, I feel confused just by reading that name. Who else? General Confusion. Yeah. Oh dear, I've, I've been confused already. <laughs> oh, here we go. General Confusion. Octosaw. Octosaw. So is it like a octopus with saws? Or tentacle saws? I don't know. And Skill Scream. These names are ridiculous. Who, who wrote this? <laughs> Apologies for that. Uh -huh. um, let's see. Skill Scream. Together, you will work to construct an ultimate war machine that will spell doom for Captain Cosmos. As well as anything or anyone else in its way. I don't know about you folks, but uh, this sounds rather evil. That last part reminds me of the Enclave. Yes. I'm quite worried. Perhaps I should tell Commander Johns about this. But anyway, let's continue on to the third segment. Love me some new scoreboards and rewards. You are all going to love this. New scoreboards and rewards. As for previous seasons, our latest scoreboard features 100 ranks for you to achieve. And a new suit of stellar rewards to unlock as you progress. That includes items like Team Power Armor Paints, Weapon Skins, Outfits, New Camp Objects, In-Game Currencies, Consumable Items, Perk Cards, Packs, and more. Oh, sorry, Perk, there, Perk Card Packs, or those little cards you collect. I don't know. Mm. For example, here's a look at the West Virginia Slot Machine. The Slot Machine? Ooh. 
an item that will offer you and your camp visitors a chance to put some extra change in your pockets. If Lady Luck is on your side and the reels line up just right, you could win a jackpot of up to... Oh my, that's a lot of caps! I think it's 1,000 caps? 1 million caps? I think it's 1 million caps, I could be wrong. The Flatwoods Mayor isn't good with numbers, folks. Here's the image of the slot machine. It looks very interesting. And those two seem to be having the time of their lives. Anyway, let's now move into the rest of the segments. Or oh, sad. Considering the fact that half of Appalachia's been dead due to Scorch Beast, of course, but now that settlers are coming back, you know, we have new people. But when your friends aren't on, well, that is pretty sad. But what if I told you something less sad? Like, for example, new companions! That's right, folks. You can no longer be lonely if you're tired of Becca for the instrumental wanderer, or the old man who we like to call Grandpa, or Sophia the Guerrero, or Child, or Super Mutant. Well, we're having some new companions from space! We'll introduce Serzo and Catherine, two new allies who you can unlock during your journey among the stars. They won't send you on any quests. Oh, that's a shame. Fooey. But they will watch over your camp while you're out adventuring. Sell you any items they've scavenged, chat with you, and when you're home, and then part you with temporary buffs. Oh, they won't give us any quests, but, well, at least they'll give us something. Let's start with Zerzo, shall we? It's not every day that you meet a ghoul in a spacesuit. Stranger still. Serzo not only claims he is not from our planet, but he hails instead from the Zubulon, Zubulon, Zubulon Empire, which had its sights set on invading Earth. Perhaps he really is from out of reaches, or maybe he just spent a little too much time stargazing. Either way, you can speak with him to receive a buff once per day that will temporarily reduce your fast travel costs and increase your agility. Decrease my caps for fast traveling. He sounds like a travel agent. I should hire him. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've seen many things in my years, but never in my years of service here in Appalachia have I ever seen a space ghoul who works for a travel agency. And with that, because I mean, well, he lowers your caps as you can fast travel, so... If that ain't a travel agency, I don't know what is. Anyway, let us see who the next companion is, and what benefits they give. Yes! Our next guest is... Catherine! Interplanetary exploration, alien abductions, extraterrestrial life... These are just a few of Catherine Swan's area of expertise. Though an astronomer by trade, her true passion are rooted in uncovering the mysteries beyond the riches of our planet. Speak with her every day to temporarily reduce the weight of your energy ammo and improve your perception. This Catherine person sounds fascinating as well, but I have a sneaky suspicion the Brotherhood of Steel might look for her services if they can lower the weight of fusion cells. Just imagine, Brotherhood soldiers running around with less heavier fusion cells. Now that's something to think about. But I don't know. It's just a mere thinking out loud. That and also, the Brotherhood kinda took my toaster last time. I'm still waiting for them to deliver my toaster. Now ladies and gentlemen, vault dwellers and wastelanders, I don't have to tell you this because the article already said it, but grab your season 6 rewards. As season 6 and our adventure with the Unstoppables comes to an end, make sure to revisit the Unstoppables versus Diabolicals scoreboard to grab any rank of rewards you earned that you may not have claimed yet. Dr. Sarbo is eager to set his plot for revenge in motion, and he's going to order general confusion to disintegrate any unclaimed rewards once the new season begins on December the 8th. Oh no! He's going to destroy any rewards! You fiend! You rabble-rousing! Oh, I can't say that live. If you'd like to learn more about Fallout 76 Season 7, as well as check out many more of the rewards that will be yours for the taking, as you rank up, be sure to visit the Fallout 76 Seasons website over at the Bethesda channel. 
or the Bethesda website, I should say, not not channel. Yes. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, Mr. Mayor, why do you have a radio next to you? Well, it's relevant to the next topic, so listen well. <clears throat> Tune in to new radio plays. Keep up with Dr. Zorbo's intergalactic escapades as we approach season seven with an all new round of radio plays. Follow along as he travels from one planet to the next on his quest to assemble a crew that can take down Captain Cosmos once and for all. We debuted the first two chapters together during our Fallout 76 stream earlier this week, and in case you missed it, you can listen to them here, on, I'm guessing on this little video pop-up they have, which is what I'm reading from the script. Once you're up to speed on the story so far, tune in to chapter 3 and 4 by watching the video below. Ooh. So yes, it seems he's monologuing his own adventures on the radio. Keep an eye out for that. Do you love calendars? I love calendars too. So let's read this together. Season 7's Community Calendar! 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 I love doing that. <laughs> the days are growing colder. The Scorch has started stitching together the festive outfits. The Santatron circuits are nearly overloaded with how many gifts it still has to wrap. All those poor Santatrons. The holiday seasons and the end of the year are almost upon us. But there is plenty of activity in Appalachia to take a part in from week to week as we head into 2022 and beyond. Stay on top of it all in game weekend events, upcoming seasons, seasonal events, and more with our latest community calendar, which includes important dates from now following until March. Oh, goody goody. We get to see what we have on the of Wastelanders. That is the end of the article. I do hope you enjoy today's episode. I haven't done one of these in so long. It feels great. I hope it was very informative. I will leave this little Pip-Boy message below. That way you can see the article for yourself. Please do stay safe out there. Enjoy the holidays with your families and friends. And also, keep staying dandy out there, Vault Dweller. <laughs>